Hi, Nero Thambi Pillay here. I'm sure by now, if you've been living in Sydney, you know that our new Premier is trying to make Sydney property prices more affordable. Now, I don't know how she's gonna do this, and if you've seen one of my earlier videos, I shared my thoughts about how I believe the best way is for her to do it. But regardless of what she does, there's one thing you need to understand. If she's successful, there will be winners and there will be losers. So who are gonna be the winners? Well, the winners will be those people who can't afford to get into the Sydney market right now, either because they want their own home, uh, but can't afford the mortgage or don't have enough for a deposit, whatever the situation is. And depending on what her solution is, which is still unknown, even if there is going to be a solution, but if there is, and it's successful, then the, clearly the group who cannot afford their own home, which now is well over half of people living in Sydney scarily, that will be a, the group that wins, correct. But who are the losers? Well, first of all, people who've already owned their own home for some time and had some equity growth. If she brings prices down, then people who are sitting on that equity, they're gonna lose that equity. And if you, their home is their biggest asset, then there's a potential risk that they could go backwards financially. That's number one. But number two, it's investors. And if you're watching this video, if you've been following some of my other work, then you're someone who obviously has an interest in investing in property or looking to get into the market this year. And it's to you I need to, I'm addressing this video because if the Premier and the government is trying to make prices more affordable, if they're trying to stop prices rising as quickly as they have been for the last few years, is that the market you need to be getting into? or should you be looking at other markets? For example, if you look at our last property boom in Sydney, which is from 2000 to 2004, the boom ended when the New South Wales state government introduced a 2.25% vendor tax. It essentially killed the boom, killed prices rising overnight. Now, we don't know what this new premier is gonna do. We don't know what her solution will be. But as an investor, if you're looking to buy a property to get capital growth over the next three, four, even seven to 10 years, you need to ask yourself, is now the time to be entering the Sydney market? Or should you be looking at other markets where prices are already affordable, where they're starting to rise after a long, say winter season where prices have been quite flat for quite some time, they're now starting to rise, they're a lot more affordable for you, the cash flow returns are much stronger, you need to consider that. And if you're in any way unsure about where to invest or how, then look out for my upcoming webinar where I'll be sharing my three golden rules of how to analyze where to invest for capital growth and how to secure property for less than a cup of coffee a day. It's a really exciting webinar. It's something I've been working on now for quite some time. It's based on my 15 years of experience buying and selling millions of dollars worth of property myself, helping clients purchase now well over $61.8 million worth of property. And I really believe it will open your eyes to what's possible with investing in property, how to avoid the, the risks, and how to ensure that you put yourself on the financial fast track to creating whatever it is you want from a financial perspective while minimizing risk and without losing sleep. So look for it, it's coming soon. I can't wait to share it with you. Bye for now.